Good morning, afternoon or evening. I'm Scott Rudrow and I'll be presenting this Pikachuka on Escape from Tarkov, a Battle State game. This is a beta and it is not on the open market yet. This is the character's inventory where you'd equip your character with weapons, ammo, food, whatever you need for a trip through Tarkov. It is a very demanding game. This is the NPC trading system. This is Proper, who trades ammos and weapon components as well as whole weapons. There's also a therapist, skier, fence, mechanic, and peacekeeper, who are other NPC traders. The therapist is a doctor who helps the people of Tarkov by selling supplies and maintaining some of the medical conditions that people seem to get at Tarkov, mostly gunshot wounds. The player trading system is very extensive as well, composed of thousands of players online, which is a good and a bad thing at times. Good thing when you need something, bad thing when they're playing against you. The scav, or scavenger, is different than the piece MC, or player character, in that the scavs on the map, the NPCs on the map, will not shoot you on sight unless you shoot them. Player characters will be shot on sight by scavs in the game. When you spawn into the game, the first thing you want to do is check your extraction point. We have Svelte Dead End and Ruined House Fence. Both of them are on the opposite side of the map from where we spawn near Customs. Customs is on, Road to Customs is on the right hand side of the map underneath the key. Now, we have to get all the way to the opposite side of the map to Svelte Dead End or Ruined House Fence on the very far left-hand side of the map, the red extraction markers. Check your scav before you set out. You might have equipment that you didn't know about, like that orange square is a medical or surgical kit. And the tape measure and the nuts and bolts, we don't need and we'll um, discard those. Now boxes are a great resource in Tarkov to find ammo, weapons, weapon components, parts, or just tradable items. And you always check the boxes when you have time and opportunity. But don't get caught too long in any one box. Search the box, the search window, put pops up on the left hand side. You can see the search is underway. It's unsearched for several seconds and then it turns into a searched item box next to what's in it. Nothing was in this one so we didn't score any loot this time. The cell phone tower on the map on the way to Svelte Dead End is a favorite place of snipers. So we need to be careful when passing it. And listen carefully. Always listen. The radar tower is another great place to get weapons, ammo, and rare items. And it's not often transited by other players. But scavs usually spawn here. So you have to be careful whether or not it's a player or a scav. Right there on my marker, on my weapon, you can see a, someone moving around. We can't tell if it's a player or a scav, so we're just going to let them go about their business off to the right. And after they go off to the right, I went after them just to see if it was a player. I heard footsteps and thought, oh, there's someone. Uh, it's a scav. We're safe.
As we loot more weapons crates, we find a silencer and some magazines. We don't need the magazines, but we will take that silencer. And there's a scav right there by the silver dish. But we don't need to worry about him. He's not going to shoot us unless we shoot him. We scavenge the medical bag and we score some loot, another surgical kit, and some medicines. I continue to search and raid the medical assets and some of the other things in the um, radar tower. And on the way to Smelty Dead End, I came across a player character. This was the only player encounter that I had during my mission. And it was a little bit exciting. There he is now. I used 20 rounds of ammo and hit him in the head once. I ran to the extraction point without further incident to end the game. The extract takes about 10 seconds, 5 seconds to uh, get you out of there. It varies from extract to extract. Thank you for listening to and watching my Pikachuka on Escape from Tarkov, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.